difference? There's four sort of key complications. What would be the next one? Uh, well, I mean, uh, GMTs really, uh, or, or multi-time watches. Um, so, um, I mean, a GMT is, uh, stands for Greenwich Mean Time. Um, I think it was in, in 1884, it was decided, uh, there was some conference that decided that Greenwich would be the, uh, the, the zero median point and, and all times would be sort of, um, would, would be set from there. I think it was due to, to, to Britain's shipping prowess or something that we, that was a that was a uh, the, the the central point for timekeeping um and then obviously people travel um and, and particularly when the jet age started and very simply there's a a, a a hand with a large pointer on it and a bezel uh, with a 24-hour scale on it uh, and you can adjust that you could adjust the bezel on the GMT master so you could have the time in in, in two places at once and that was very simply it I mean it's evolved into the GMT master 2 where the, where you you can now actually move the hand um, rather than just moving the bezel so three time zones three on that times level. on that yeah exactly mm -hmm. right um but that was fundamentally uh, the gmt is a watch uh, tudor do a great a great version um and and tag heuer etc so um, that's a that's a really useful complica complication for people that travel um and um yeah more relevant than the equation of time well I, 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 I was going to say it's that functionality and what's what can be most useful uh, i mean we're not traveling too much at the minute but mm -hmm. a gm you know a lot of people work on different time zones, so you yep. don't actually even have to be mm -hmm. traveling yourself to have the sort of the local time or, mm -hmm. um, um, but yeah, credible, valid, yeah. relevant. And then um, beyond that, you have, you have world times, which um, uh, they were, uh, we, we, have to, we have to talk about Patek again, um, but they were sort of developed with, with Patek and, and Louis Cotier, who was, uh, who was a, kind of, a kind of watch designer. Um, he, he, Developed the look um, and, the, and the design of, um, of, of, of world time watches um, in 1930 in, a, in his in his office above his wife's stationery shop in the back back streets of Geneva, and I like to think he had an ample supply of paper and pens in order to, <laughs> to, to in order to design his watch. But, but 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 Patek put it out on the market in I think in in in, um, in, in 1930. And again, a sort of iconic look was, was born really with sort of 24 countries uh, around the dial um, and, a, and an easy ability to, to tell the time in multiple, multiple locations all, all on one dial. And I mean, it's, it's, it's an iconic watch of Patek, the, the sort of 52-31 with the um, enamel part in the, in the middle, which is usually um, a, a, a continent or two from the world. Um, but obviously Vacheron do do a similar sort of thing. You know, most of the principal brands have something like a, a world time watch. And I mean, it's a, it's a testament to his design, really, that they all follow the same sort of look because it was such a, a clever way of expressing what is seemingly incredibly complicated um, in, a, in a very, very simple way. Yeah, there's a lot of detail on those watches. Mm, I? I, was just, yeah. um, I was just thinking, just sort of mentally comparing, whilst we've talked about um, some of the other calendar models, they present themselves, they can present themselves quite differently, mm -hmm. whereas yeah. on, on the World Times, yeah. it's so, which is, mm. means that it can't be improved or differed too much. Not so. Yeah, it's, 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 they can't, but yeah, possibly not. I mean, everybody's, everybody's more or less conforming to, to, um, to, to the original design, so it works. <laughs>